an enchanting score, a magical show, a lovely, warm, melodic show that weaves a web of musical enchantment. People who saw the grass harp now feel very fortunate because it closed abruptly after only seven performances. A victim of Broadway economics, a bad timing, mixed notices, oh, who knows? Well, anyway. <laughs> Subsequently, a cast album was made to help keep the memories of the Broadway production fresh. Its admirers consider themselves a privileged cult, and so do I. I'm Ruth Ford, and I had the great pleasure of playing the part of Arena Talbo almost six years ago. The grass harp takes place in the South, in the not too distant past. Marina Talbo and her sister Dolly Talbo took me in and raised me when my parents died. And it was Dolly who showed me the treehouse in the woods. I must have been all of 15. We could hear the autumn wind singing in the Indian grass like a harp of voices telling a story. That was the autumn Aunt Verena kicked up an awful fuss. Colin Talbo. Is it true that you shine flashlights in Maud Reardon's window at night and uh, throw pebbles and uh, tempt her into the yard? Well, I got a right to. She's my special girlfriend. But that will stop. You understand? Yes, I'm Aunt Verena. What you doing? Maud, my ideal. Maud, my idol. What you doing? Practicing hard on your violin. Not can fold it under your chin. I'm a rat, but when you play, my mind is a million miles away. All I ever think about is floozies, beautiful, exotic kind of floozies. Inside my brain, they sure can raise cane. I watch them Sundays who jack hoochin' in their undies. Every night I see parades of floozies. Imaginary harems full of doozies Lying on my Davenport I fuck her up and watch them slam Jump that I am And I am well, If I ever touched a floozy Wonder what she'd do Oh, she'd grab me by the collar Door would slam Wham And she'd holler Stinky, ugly, good for nothing Stinky, ugly, good for nothing Scram Ham, scray, scram Scram Ham, scray, scram Whole town had listened to her call can tell just who's a floozy right off. Temptation is impossible to fight off. Inside my head, they climb in my bed. In secret rooms, I tiptoe barefoot over naked by zooms. Where are you, you sweet patooties? Finger licky jam. Where are you, you baby face beauties? Hot damn. That same autumn, Aunt Verena and Dolly had a serious falling out. Dolly and I and Catherine used to gather herbs for a home remedy laced with sherry wine. Dolly Hart's Gypsy Dropsy Cure, two bucks a bottle. Only Dolly knew the recipe. Aunt Verena owned the house and half the town as well. And she took it into her head to make Dolly's Dropsy Cure a big time business. But when Dolly tried to write out the recipe, like Aunt Verena told her to, she couldn't. It was Dolly's own secret, and that's why we became runaways. I've decided I cannot live in this house with Verena anymore. That's my Dolly hard talking. When's she moving out? I'm the one that's moving out. This is our home. You got no cause whatever to move out. We've looked after this house for so long. In the eyes of God, it belongs to us. If 
you sweep a house and you keep it warm if there's love enough in you to weather any storm that house is yours that house is yours if you feed a man and you mend his shirts if there's love enough in you to kiss away his hurts that man is yours that man is yours life is so bewildering sometimes we feel like we lost children and there is no place we can hide be still Your heart will provide If you find a stray And you raise him right If you care enough To see him safely That child belong to you. But Catherine, those there's no place for me in my sister's house. Then where to are we going? That's what we gotta decide. I know somebody that went all the way to Mexico City, Mexico, on the bus for $15. That's nice, dear. But we can't go to Mexico. We don't speak the language. And it's a dry sort of place. No rivers and forests. And without a forest, how can we make our drop secure? Uh, the treehouse. Our treehouse. We could live there. We really could. You boxed out of your mind if you think I'm hauling these weary bones up into any tree with the idea of taking up residence. I keep hearing Granddaddy's voice. March down the valley, yellow drum. Oh, my Sally, yellow drum, yellow drum. Victory boys keep a coming. Yellow drum keep a drumming. March down the valley to the river, yellow drum. The river, yellow drum, yellow drum. Soldier, don't shiver, yellow drum, yellow drum. Victory boys keep a coming, yellow drum keep a drumming. Swim across the river to the city, yellow drum. Granddaddy's 
boy singing away. Where? There in the Indian grass. That's the grass gone dry, sugar, and the wind makes it sound funny. But Catherine, the wind is him. The wind gathers and remembers voices. The same will happen to us when we're dead. The wind will gather our voices and send them back, singing through the grass, same as his. A harp of voices telling a story. If the story was about me, what would it say? It would say what you did when you lived. Dusk brought us closer together. We passed around a bottle of dropsy cure to ward off the chill in the air. And Catherine told us about a deep down regret. I could be settled down right now with a man of my own, if only I'd answer the letter. Marry with me, he wrote. Catherine, marry with me. Love, Bill. A grown man asked you to marry him and you never told me? You don't tell anybody everything. Besides, what worries my mind is which one of the Bills it was that wrote that letter. I wonder if it was the Bill who had a tattoo on his chest, a huzzy all undressed. He was a plumber, come to fix my faucet. Didn't have the tooth to find the leak. He lasted out the week and stayed the summer. Played the ukulele, miss him daily. When I hear trip, yeah, he's the man who wrote marry with me. Won't you marry with me, Catherine, marry with me. That's we talking, Bill, who peddled his line door to door. The local agent for the book of knowledge paid the first installment. Volume one, which went from A to C, he read out loud to me, just like a college. Got up to Columbus, he took some bus, still out on that trip. Yeah, he's the Bill who wrote, marry with me, won't you marry with me, Catherine, marry with me. Took off on his own on a Pullman job. Could have been the Bill who liked my chicken soup. Uh uh, no. His name was Bob. Bill, the heftiest man on the scene. He kept my garden green, did all my seeding. Must look so ripply. Didn't dare refuse him what he asked. The high point of my past, what I've been needing. Lasted up to autumn. Could have caught him. Won't you marry with me, Catherine, marry with me, marry with me, love me. Known a peck of bills, how could I tie the knot? The only letter in all my life I got said, marry with me. be surprised at the thoughts that go through my head. <laughs> the night of the church dance, I wanted to be nice and decent, but well, it was after the dance and I was walking Maud Reardon home. It was like somebody was following after us, that, that other me, the one that has the thoughts. <laughs> I ran like hell, just left Maud standing in the road. <laughs> you see, I was afraid that she had turned into the kind of girl that I had the thoughts about. The judge says that it takes a whole lifetime to learn how to love, seeing as love is a chain of love, as nature is a chain of life. I've been in love my whole life. Well, no. I never loved a gentleman. You might say I never had the opportunity, except Papa. But if love is a chain of love, as nature is a chain of life With link after link after link Then I've always been in love, I think No youth 
ever stole my heart No suitor ever sought my hand I've nothing at all to confess Yet I've always been in love, I guess I love a cat-shaped cloud The sound of rain A face of frost on a window in me like honey inside a bee if love is a chain of love as nature is a chain of life with link after link after link then I've always been in love I think I love to spend whole mornings in the kitchen warm as a kitten's tongue where it always smells of cinnamon and clove though a foot high pot of coffee's on the stove and there I love to speak of sleepy summers they were longer when I was young and to tell of lazy picnics in the Like a bird in a sunflower field If love is a chain of love As nature is a chain of life A chain that will always endure The next morning, a holy healer named Baby Love woke us up. She got lost passing out the true word, but she found us. Holy healing, did you say? You got the healing power? The healing power? Looking for someone to make you feel, Jake? Yeah. Lonesome in your heart and longing for love. Looking for love you can call your own? Well, then walk into heaven with Baby Love. Welcome to the Baby Love Miracle Show. Miracle Show? Where? Lady, you're looking right. Glad to see you folks, sure is homey here Feel I've known all you folks already for many a year Gonna put on a show full of talking in tongues and we're raring to go It's a hooting and hollering, heavenly true baby love's miracle show Baby love baby love call me baby love loved and raised me so many babies i'm baby love and they turned out so nice i decided to call them my bride and joy they're the hooting and hollering part of the baby love miracle show they're the hooting and hollering part of the baby love miracle show introducing to you the baby love miracle show it takes all kinds Takes all kinds, takes all kinds in this world. Some can dance, some can sing, some can do anything. It takes all kinds, takes all kinds, takes all kinds in this world. Hallelujah, he's the call. Baby, love loves you all. When I met a man, looked in his eyes and I walked into heaven And he fed me a line, said he was mine and skedaddled away But his eyes were blue, sky blue Well, I had me his baby in the city up north 
and I saw two tiny blue peepers, yeah. Had me his baby in the city up north and I saw two tiny blue peepers and walked right back into heaven and walked right back into heaven. Like a tumbleweed in a prairie wind drifted around till I found some more heaven. And wherever I went, man me a gentle skedaddle away, but his eyes were blue. Dinky hotel room in the haze of a silo over shadowy barn or a dark and dinky hotel room. Kerplunk in the middle of nowhere. Kerplunk in the middle of nowhere. All my blue eyed men had a yen for wandering. Lord knows where they've all gone to, but they left me all. Harvest of blue-eyed children to walk me back into heaven. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Gonna walk in heaven, got no time for sin. Gonna walk in heaven if you haven't been. Time to walk in heaven if you haven't been. Time to walk. such a ruckus walking into heaven, Aunt Verena sicked the sheriff on us. He locked us up in the pokey for disturbing the peace. And we got him so looped on dropsy cure, he let us go free. And Aunt Verena, rattling around in that empty house by herself, came to her senses. My house? My house? Envied you. How long I've envied you. Your rooms, your kitchen, yours and Catherine's. And now there's no one left but you. A lifetime. It's too long to be alone. I want my sister. I want my sister. Reach out and touch a flower Opening in spring Reach out and hear a promise echoing. Reach out beyond the shadows, faltering at first, bending when the wind grows strong. Thank you. 
flower opening in spring reach out and hear a promise echoing reach out beyond the shadow Victory boys keep a coming. Yellow drum. 